part two, we're at Barton Flats, we got the key. We're going in to get Janet's uh, fifth wheel trailer down at Hard Bar. She's the equestrian. There's an equestrian camp down there where the horse guys, horse people go, horsemen, horsewomen. And they can uh, camp there and ride their horses. We've camped there a few times. It's a nice, it's a nice area. God, I hate this corner. It's blind. And there's big trucks working up here. They're in Glass Road. Glass Road scares the crap out of me because they come flying through here. And uh, if you pull out, I mean, you're just sitting duck. Don't don't dawdle when you pull out there. to get through the checkpoint no the checkpoints further up like I was saying the checkpoints up here at um, Jinx Lake Road East should be coming up hopefully the word got through to let us through because we had a CHP up here that wouldn't let up there's the other campground San Gregorio that's open it don't look like a lot of people in there if you want to camp when there's not a lot of people now's the time to come up Trails will be less crowded. Jinx Lake is open. You can go fishing, hiking, picnicking. I think you can canoe in there. I think you can tube it. I don't know. Yeah, you can tube it. I saw a guy with a tube. I've never tubed it. I've always gone shore fishing. Or did we go out on that? I think I have paddled around that. I don't think we were fishing, though. That's the group camp there. And that sign that looks like a Wi-Fi sign, that's the amphitheater. I don't know how many people I did it for years pulled up by this amphitheater sign thinking it was Wi-Fi, but it's uh, for the amphitheater here. This is Grayback. This is where they do the ranger talks, right here on the left. They got a nice little amphitheater, and Gene and uh, Smokey Bear shows up. Bring the kiddos that they like Smokey Bear. Smokey uh, arranges to come down every Saturday night out of the woods. And this is hopefully this. They got word. They're gonna. I got a pass, but it all depends on the who's in charge and the CHP. Yeah, I've been chasing women. Where? Women. Chasing women? Yeah, there's no women up here. There's no ladies. You got a new guy, huh? New guy? How you yeah, doing? You Jeff. Yeah, Brandon. Got to meet you, Brandon. Dude. We're going down to get her. She's one of the camp hosts at the equestrian. Did you get word? No. From Chris, the boss. She's got a trailer in the campground that's back there. We pulled one of them out. Yeah. She's the camp host. She brought a guy that's got a fifth wheel. Set up. I don't have. A, I don't have a fifth wheel set up. Yeah. So uh, the Caltrans guy is Chris. Who's the main boss? Chris. I haven't talked to Chris. I only talked to um, Johnny and Son. They told me that she said she got approval as long as I escort him in there and escort him out. Yeah. So. Well, the, you know, each time we get a different CHP, so what? I'm running by him. Okay. Yeah. Three, she may have a better. These two vehicles right here. Yep. Two. You look familiar. Uh oh. Is that good or bad? No, we talked up there in the hole for a while. You were a goose hunter from Utah. Yes, I'll never forget that. These guys with you or what? She's a camp host at Hart Bar. Okay. So we're um she's got a fifth wheel in there. We got the other camp host out ten days ago. Okay. She's wants to get it out of there before they loot it or break in and the mice they really get in there with the mice. So, so we go it out of there with this? No, the guy there the, the pickup, he's got a fifth wheel set up. I don't have fifth wheel set up. Heart bar's on this side? Heart bar is on this side of the big collapse. Uh, about mile marker 32. It goes back on the right. You know where the search and rescue trains? Yeah. The next one up. So 
that's before any of the K, the concrete K rail, right? Because you won't be able to go past where they set the K rail up. Is that where the? Remember I met you? Yeah. Is that where the K rails are? Yeah. It's below that, about two or three miles. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. then we're gonna get her uh, fifth wheel and get it out of there. Okay. They said as long as I escorted them in and out. Yeah. So. As long as you guys don't try to go up farther. You can, yeah. So it really Stay away from up there and. And, and be uh, real careful because the dump trucks aren't going to expect to see anybody coming down. So. Yeah, I told them. I said there's big trucks working up all over up here. Yeah, so just kind of go slow and stand. Be anyway. careful. All right, Thank you, sir. How you been? Good. How about you? Good. Good. Yeah, Haven't been up in a. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, getting ready to go goose hunt, are you? Not till the end of the year, but we'll go. Oh, you go, go, go late, huh? Yeah. Cibola so kicks off Thanksgiving. Oh yeah. Yeah, it might so we'll be. Go a, up, like uh, mid December, probably. Okay. The cold? Cold as crap up there. Oh. We we'll go to Peng, which is where we start. The high for the day will be like six. Oh, jeez. <laughs> when I was a kid in Iowa, I was the steak guy. Pound the steaks, you know, because it's concrete. I'd be out there with a sledge, trying to pound in the steaks for the decoys. And Uncle Dad would be, hurry up. It'd be so damn cold. Or if we were on the pond, I was the icebreaker. Go break the ice. Well, well, get the dog. No, you go break the ice. So one day I said, let's take a trolling motor out there. Run that trolling motor off a battery and keep that water open. Yeah. Make a little splash, splash. And they said, eh, guess who got to carry the battery and the trolling motor? <laughs> the nephew. As big a guy as you are, I imagine it was you. We'll see you, sir. Right, yep. Oh, shoot, I forgot the video was on. He's, uh, I met him up. That's the CHP. I met him up. Three weeks ago, he was at. I should probably give them one of my radios. He was uh, up here with a big collapse. I guess they've got that K reeled off now, so he can't get up to it. You're never going to hear nothing. He was cool. One of the CHPs was... He didn't want to let... Uh, oh, was I with? No, it wasn't... Sam, it was the Peterson's cabin. Their son came up with some friends to try and work on their cabin. And he was a cop. And uh, the cop wouldn't let him through the CHP. So they walked down here. And they needed their tools. So I gave him a ride back up. And we kept working on him and working on him. Finally, he said, okay. And he let him come down. I mean, he, he was a resident. And they were trying to secure the door and, and uh, keep the bears out. I see they, they got to kind of watch. They don't want to let a lot of people in here because there's a lot of construction work going on. But uh, it kind of crimped those guys because you know, they needed their tools. Here's South Fork. This is where uh, Bruce's cabin here is on the left. The Peters' cabin's further out toward the creek. I wonder if Pete's... Uh, like I don't see, I don't see uh, Bruce. I don't see any of them in there. This is probably the first time for these guys to see this. Yeah, Janet's probably freaking out on on uh, the devil. Yeah, she's slowing down to look. I don't think she. Yeah, she was evacuated, so I don't think she's seen this since the uh, the storm. It's kind of overwhelming when you see it, knowing what it looked like before. And I just saw it, it uh, late spring, they're saying, that's to get to Seven Oaks, and I think this up repair up here, I mean, that's going to be the whole ski season. I saw 20 million was the, it seemed awful light, but... 
don't know if they're just talking about the big collapse of it. You see, if you look up here on the right, like right here and right there, see where it came over and started eating? It looks like they're, they're dumping dirt in there. Yeah, see where they're trying to keep this. That creek's still eating it, too. That's going to collapse right there. It's right up to the edge of the road where it's starting to undermine it. And then up here, where's the other one? There's, there's like uh, three of these. And then there's the big one. down in here very well. Oh. Yeah, look at that. It, it completely... Look how wide that was. Jeez. You could hop across that creek normally. And a lot of times that was dry. It wasn't even any water in there. It was probably flowing underneath, you know? I think it's up here. Here's the road into search and rescue. It's blown out right here. You're gonna have to fix that. They had like a low water bridge right there and it's, looks like somebody's been there. Yeah, somebody's cut a road in there. Somebody took a tractor, looks like, going in there. Maybe search and rescue so they can get back in there. They, they probably got, I think they've got, wow, that thing's still full when you get a lot of water. But Bob, Bob and Kathy were saying, the meadow up here, I haven't seen it yet. The meadow up here behind the campground, they said, is uh, got a big gorge ravine in it now. I guess they're going first. Bar. This is the bridge. Good, those uh, rebar still up. We can see the the red tags. It doesn't look as bad. The water's about uh, it's, it's less water. There was two places running water last time. Awesome.